Hello all, welcome to the NPTEL course on fundamentals of combustion for propulsion. I am Dr. S. Varun Kumar, I am an assistant professor in the department of mechanical engineering at IIT Madras. I teach undergraduate level courses in thermodynamics and applied thermal engineering and graduate level courses in rocket propulsion and combustion. My research areas include instability in solid rocket motors and liquid rocket motors and thermochemical conversion of biomass and coal. You sir. Uh, I am H.S. Mukunda, I was a professor at Indian Institute of Science for 34 years. I have uh, studied, researched in many areas of combustion science. This includes of uh, gaseous fuels, liquid fuels and solid fuels, both for rocket propulsion as well as industrial applications. I am currently involved in researching in fire related, uh, fire safety related issues. Yeah, the objective yeah. of this course is essentially to transform people who have to learn that combustion science which is required to do design and development of rocket engines. Quite often in the in designing and developing rocket engines, one uncovers problems of very significant nature and one wouldn't know quickly what to make out of the problems. And if one understands the combustion science associated with it, then they will be able to decipher the approaches required to resolve the problems. This, this course is special in that sense. Well, uh, I think flames are very fascinating objects with a lot of practical applications from uh, uh, automotive reciprocating engines to what propels uh, rockets into space and these days into moon and Mars. To think of uh, all these objects or all these systems uh, that the combustion process is at the heart of all of these systems is, uh, is and to link this with the, uh, the understanding of the fascinating objects which are flames is uh, something that we will discuss at length in this course and we hope we can uh, maybe help the audience appreciate these connections between simple flame objects that we see every day to how these uh, flames behave in large propulsion systems. Any bachelor's degree in mechanical engineering, chemical engineering um, or aerospace engineering will do and even if some of them have done uh, many courses are just about to graduate, they may wish to take this course because they will be better eligible to undertake uh, possibilities of uh, positions in the defense establishments or ISRO and things like that. I uh, would say uh, an undergraduate course in uh, thermodynamics heat transfer and fluid mechanics is more than enough for uh, students to get started on whatever we will be discussing in this course. This is something which is a combination of UG and PG level. We only are introducing those aspects of fundamentals of combustion science which may have uh, connections to the issues related to the problem faced uh, in advanced systems of uh, either defense applications or space applications. I think practitioners in uh, ISRO, DRDO, uh, NAL and HAL would uh, benefit from attending this course. As well yeah. as the students who uh, are freshly coming off as undergraduate students or graduate students also may learn some interesting things which may, they may not have learned in their formal courses. As uh, was mentioned earlier, uh, students who are aspiring to becoming part of uh, organizations like the Indian Space Research Organization or the Defense research and development organization would uh, get a perspective of what goes on in uh, these organizations in terms of development of propulsion systems. So we hope that this will uh, give them the required background to what to expect when they become part of these uh, organizations and how best they can contribute to the development process there. That is one uh, uh, one, uh, one uh, outcome I see uh, uh, of this course. The other would be that I think at the end of this course, I think students will be able to appreciate the connections, the, uh, the science of combustion is a, it's an interdisciplinary or it is a multidisciplinary problem. It involves ideas from variety of subjects like fluid mechanics, thermodynamics, heat transfer, chemistry and so on. And this is a, a combustion science is a very good uh, subject which will help students understand the interplay or what roles these different 
ideas play and how they control the uh, combustion process and this will be an ideal platform as I see it would be an ideal platform for the students to appreciate the connections between different fields of thermal engineering. So the course will have about two and a half to three hours of uh, lecture material every week, about one hour of uh, time the students will be expected to spend solving assignments to assimilate the ideas which have been introduced in a particular week. Of course, uh, myself and or the TAs will be available for uh, uh, through the discussion forums for uh, students to ask questions and help them solve the assignments. So this is an eight weeks uh, course which will start on the 27th of January 2020 and the exam for this course will be on 29th of March 2020. I, I think um, when you in, when you you undertake this course uh, with us and since I had lot of time to work with people in ISRO and DRDO, you will discover that um, many interesting questions that you may raise uh, will get answered in very different ways than what you may have read and it will, it will enhance your understanding and ability to appreciate different viewpoints in resolving questions. Yeah, there are a couple of books which the students can uh, benefit from reading. One would be uh, Understanding Combustion written by Professor Mukunda. Uh, for propulsion related aspects of both uh, rocket propulsion and air breathing engines, there is another book called Understanding Aerospace Chemical Propulsion, again written by Professor Mukunda. These books, uh, we will use materials from uh, these books. Another interesting uh, source of, uh, uh, source for learning about combustion is a series of videos that students can find on YouTube. It is called Understanding Combustion through images and videos. If you search for understanding combustion CGPL IAC in YouTube, you will find a three part video on variety of flames of uh, gaseous fuels, liquid fuels, solid fuels, premix flames and diffusion flames and so on. Uh, this was created uh, at IAC uh, in, as a as a equivalent of uh, Van Dyke's album of fluid motion. This is equivalent uh, version for combustion. Combustion being uh, uh, you know a colorful uh, phenomena, uh, we can understand a lot about combustion by looking at the images and videos of flames and this was the purpose. You will find this very beneficial, this especially beginners who have no uh, background in combustion will find it useful to get started. Right yeah. now I think there is no specific follow, follow up and stay. As we go along through the course, the people who participate are welcome to interact with both of us over a period of time and if we uncover that there is a need for additional course, we will in fact come up with additional course. We hope students will enjoy the course and welcome once again.